The countdown is on to New Year's Eve, and while many of you may be finalizing your plans still, so are local police agencies and state police agencies. Channel 2's Keelan Berrien tells us what steps they're taking and the warnings they're issuing to make sure everyone stays safe while they're celebrating. It's a popular night out. We are resilient! That sometimes end in violence. We have a, a, quite a bit of a surge of arrests around the holidays. If you are out there and you're firing a gun and we get a call on it or we hear it, we're, we're, gonna, we're coming after you. So the Buffalo police and state police are getting ready for a busy New Year's weekend. We will have enough patrols. We will be working with local law enforcement agencies, you know, sheriff's departments, town and villages to handle that call influx. This is uh, an absolute message to anybody that wants to uh, use guns in an, in an illegal manner. But many people will be downtown enjoying the 36th annual ball drop from the electric tower. And, they and police commissioner Joseph Gramalia has a rule he wants you to keep in mind. Too, if you see something, say something. Don't think that something is too small that you don't at least report it. That's what we're there for. And if you're someone who likes the pregame before an event. Think before you drink. Know that if you are getting high, you cannot drive a vehicle. We will have DWI details starting tonight throughout the weekend. Uh, we will be out enforcing both driving while intoxicated and driving while ability impaired. Separate from downtown's event, city message boards have been in place for some time now, warning drivers about driving high. Driving hungover the next day after a night of drinking is just as bad as drunk driving. If you have been drinking too much to the point that you're hungover, uh, you're going to want to wait because you are probably still going to be at or above that limit. So the best advice is probably going to want to wait the full day. Law enforcement says the goal is to have fun, but also be safe. Trooper James O'Callaghan says just last year, police were busy. You're looking at 470-ish uh, tickets issued, and you're looking at 12 D DWIs right here. Now, this is just New York State Police, not counting any other local law enforcement agency in the area. And when you look at collisions, 29 collisions within a three-day span. Now, Commissioner Kamali also said that you can start seeing an increased police presence around the city tonight. He said some officers will be ignoring all of the traffic calls because their sole purpose is to stop and crack down on those drunk and high drivers. On your side in the studio, Keelan Marion, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Keelan. If you plan on going to the New Year's Eve ball drop in downtown Buffalo, there are several road closures you need to know about. Beginning at 4 o'clock Sunday, parts of East Huron, Genesee, Main Street, and Washington will be closed until 2 a.m. Chippewa will also be closed from Delaware to Pearl Street from 1 p.m. to 6 a.m. Monday. Setup for the ball drop will start around 10 a.m. Sunday, so drivers are just asked to avoid that area for the day.